bastante denso. ¿eh? Hello. Hello. Hey, Kasim, how are you? Yeah, I'm alright. Alright, you are live on air, and people they hear you. Why Jesus have no father, uh, Kasim? Uh, it was a miracle. Okay, what the point to prove this? to the people to prove to, because uh, to prove to the people that he's a prophet. Mm -hmm. So why your God did not do that to Muhammad to prove he's a prophet? Um, Allah gave different different miracles to different people, different prophets. Mm -hmm. But this is the only miracle was given to one person in the whole universe. His name is Isa, correct? If you see, if you see, like for example, Musa Islam, he could split the sea. I, I haven't read any of the prophet did the same thing. Mm. Have you read any of the prophet did the same no, thing? Musa did not split the sea. It was God who split the sea. Musa Islam, he hit the the stuff. Yeah, and but this is God. This is God. Sea. Musa did, did not split the seas. This is God. But, but who, who's but who's got the stuff? It's Musa Islam who got the stuff. He's mm. the one who. So the, so, uh, so, so, so the staff of Musa have a magical power. Allah's poor, um Okay, so it's God. It's Allah who so, it. so you yeah, agree then? So then you agree. Okay. Now I'm asking you, why you say Jesus, uh, Allah, He made Him have no father to prove that He is a prophet? Did that work? Hmm? Did that work? You said the, pro the the point is to make people believe that Jesus is a prophet. Allah make Him have no father. Correct? Yeah. Okay. But the result is the Christian now believe He is God. So Allah was not a smart God because he did something would make the Christian think he is God not he's a prophet yeah that, that's that's the fault of the Christian it's not the fault of uh, right. Allah because, right. Allah because if Allah did not give Jesus all those things as you claim because you claim that Allah is the one who made Jesus have no father Allah is the one who made Jesus create from the mother a bird Allah is the made Jesus make the blind see Allah he made, even the Messiah we ask your friend what the Messiah mean what Messiah mean do you know uh, Masih means anointed, so like uh, it's, it, the root word is uh, Masaha, which is basically wiping. Wipe, we wipe what? Wipe your sin? No, it's, it's not sin, it's um, I, I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's uh, some oil or something. Uh, so, why why he wipe? Was, do, you, do you Muslim practice wiping oil? Is that Islamic? Oil on your head, yeah. This is Islamic. Sunnah, Can you show me reference? It's, did your, yes, prophet, uh, so did your prophet he wipe his head with oil? From what I know, yeah. Where? I've read it, I've, I've read in a Sunnah book uh, where, where it says where, uh, where, where the prophet he was. So your prophet, that's mean your prophet is anointed too. His name is the Messiah too. Is your prophet his name is Messiah? Because if the one who do oil in his forehead, he is Messiah. That's mean all of us were Messiah. I am a Christian, I so I am Messiah now. Is that the is that what I'm saying? That's mean Musa was Messiah. No, no, no. Because you are no, saying, no, it's not the right. because you are saying whoever yes, whoever right. do that, they call him Messiah. So, so why he is the only one called Messiah? Yeah, there's a deeper meaning to it. I, I have also so, did it. So you are not you are not talking with knowledge. You are talking. You are just guessing as the rest of the Muslims. So the other guy he says to us, Faris, he said it means he erased. You said to us he wipe. Okay, erase or wipe. It's at the end. Of the, it's the same. So he erased what? He erased sin. How the Messiah can erase our sin? No, he doesn't. He doesn't raise sin because he's obviously um, he's not God. So if he, but his name now proved to us that he's God because why he gave him? Okay, Muhammad uh, is is Muhammad is the real name of Muhammad or this is a given name? It's his real name. Real name. So why Allah did not call Muhammad the Messiah? Give him additional name like Jesus. His name is Yeshua. Yeshua. Muhammad he got the wrong name. He called him Isa. Okay, why Allah did not call Muhammad the Messiah? Because it was a special title for Isa. So. Okay, thank you. So this is a very, very special title for Isa. Why? Allah, you, you see, your de your deduction is not going to work because Allah is very clear that He is not the Son of God. He is not. Doesn't he's matter, not. Doesn't you matter. Know. Doesn't matter. You see, this is not the question. No, this is not the topic. I'm trying to find out. I'm, I'm just saying your, your deduction will fail. Okay, but you know, no, my, no, it's not. Does not fail. Okay, why Muhammad was not sponsored by the Holy Spirit? He was. He's what? Said again. He was not supported by the Holy Spirit. He. Um, what, what do you mean supported in what way? The Quran says, "Wa'ayyadnahu bil Ruh al Qudus." The Messiah is the only one. He is supported by the Holy Spirit. 
Do this uh, uh, only one. Show me the other one. Who? Go ahead. Um, Jibril, he came, he came down, and the angels came down in the battle of Badr. Uh, he supported him in that way. Mm -hmm. There's uh, many ways. That's uh, Jibril. The uh, That's mean the Quran. He missed Muhammad because where Allah he said in a single sentence or single phrase in the Quran that Allah he supported Muhammad by the Holy Spirit. Does that even need to be said? Well, if it does not need to be said, so why he said that about Jesus? As you said, it's not needed. So why Allah he says that about Jesus, but he didn't want to say it about the from one? That's up to Allah, isn't it? You can say See, I agree with you. Do. Does it have to be uh, said? That's a good. Uh, yeah, I, I, you gonna, I mean, we can't teach. Uh, you can't say, okay, Allah, you. I no, no, no. When we speak about God, yeah, you respect your God, please. I respect my God. When we speak about God, God, He don't speak uh, in vain. He don't speak uh, silly stuff, right? So He speak for a purpose. What is the purpose of saying that only the Messiah is the one who is sponsored by the Holy Spirit? As you see, why we have other verses? Yeah, we have other verses. Um, I can't recall them, but it's, it mentions about Jibril. Um, no way, um, not a single verse saying that Jibril is the Holy Spirit in the Quran. This is the most it's understood. It's, 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 it's understood. Um, yeah, it's, it's understood. That yeah, this is your guessing. Degree. This is your guessing. You know, this is your guessing. The Muslims who came th 500 years after Muhammad, they tried to figure out who is the Holy Spirit, and then they come with the idea that Muhammad said in the hadith that this is Jibreel. But that cannot be. Okay, we can prove it easy. Do you want me to prove it to you that Jibreel he cannot be the Holy Spirit? You what, can discuss what, that what some other time. Is, uh, is, uh, is Jibreel holy? Yeah, of course. So why Allah ordered Jibreel and the angels to bow down to Adam? Um, it was uh, it was in in it was a form of uh, uh, respect. So the holy respect the sinner. So yeah, Adam was wasn't a sinner if he, um, yeah, he wasn't a sinner. What? In respect, he he wasn't a sinner. What I think I discussed this with last time. What do you want? He was not a sinner. Did Adam commit sin? No, so basically he wasn't a sinner. Um, but okay. one minute. Did Allah accuse the angels to be a bunch of liars in the Quran? No, it doesn't say liars. Okay. It says uh, if you are truthful. Um, Thank you. That if you are mean, truthful, that that's mean they are not. That means they are not truthful. In kuntum sadiqin, which means they are not sadiqin. If you are truthful, huh? tell me those things. So you are not a truthful. This is what it says. So the Quran says that all the angels of Allah are not a truthful. So how we can call Jibreel the Holy Spirit? Holy mean never commit sin. Holy mean pure. Holy mean never disobey God. Holy mean God too. So how we can say that Jibreel is a truthful if the Quran saying he is not? The, the Quran does say it's not. It says if you are truthful. Yes, if you are truthful. If I say to you, if you are telling the truth, read this or etc. That's mean I'm accusing you. Come on, Qasim. Let's be honest here. If I say to you, if you are truthful, uh, prove me wrong. That's mean I'm accusing you not to be truthful, which means I'm accusing you to be a liar, literally. That's not an accusation, but um, it's not an I accusation. You, not yes. only an accusation, actually, Allah is confirming it. It's not an accusation because after that, He get them busted. He says to them, "Okay, okay," uh, and then right away they get scared. They say, "Oh Allah, uh, okay, you know what? Uh, we have no knowledge except what you told us." So He told them, "You have no truth," and then He want to continue and He gave them a funny quiz. He taught Adam all the names and He told them again, "Well, tell me the names of those things, right? This is what happened." So he wanted to prove to them that they are a bunch of liars. He told them, okay, if you are telling the truth, then tell me the names. I mean, the, the angels first started off uh, saying that why, why are you create, creating a creation where uh, they're going to basically cause corruption? And so Allah wanted to explain to them, uh, you know, the, the reason, the, the reason behind it. And, uh, hmm. and uh, you know, Allah wanted to... Um, show them like this creation that is totally different from doesn't the matter, previous creation. He said to them, they accuse Adam of doing corruption, doing mischievement, 
and actually the angels were right Allah was wrong because yes Adam he did and he was kicked out of heaven and Allah he didn't agree with them that Adam will do mischief man so Allah he said to them you are not being truthful you are a bunch of liars so how no, Jibreel, he, how Jibreel is the Holy Spirit it's understood because um, uh, from the hadith and also it says uh, the ruh was uh, who came in a form of a man mm, okay uh, here we, we go to different topic now so you are agreeing Muslims that a ruh can come in a form of a man Yes. Yeah. 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 The angel. Yeah. Okay. How a ruh can come in the form of a man? I mean, is is ruh is a physical being? Um, the ruh is um. Yeah, yeah. You can call it physical. Okay. So the ruh, guys, is a physical. So how you call it ruh? Uh, it's a spirit. I never heard of a spirit, but it's physical. Uh, one minute. I'm just gonna get my headphones. Hmm. Um. These headphones are not good. Okay. I think with the new headphone, you will get better answers. Okay. So now, the ruh. You hear me, uh, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now the ruh. You said it's a physical form, correct? The ruh from. From what I know, um, uh, it's a physical. Mm. That's weird because you are saying the spirit is physical. I never heard of this before. How you call it spirit? Yet it's physical. So why you call it spirit? So uh, every every um, every creation is physical, isn't it? Every creation is physical. So is Allah is physical? Allah is not a uh, creation. He's a creator. But is he a physical? Um, yes, Allah is a physical. Okay. He have hands. He have foot. He have five fingers, right? No, no. So uh, when Allah talks about hands and all this, uh, this is all um, we would interpret it accordingly. You know, that's false, my friend. I, you can go right now to YouTube and you will see tons of Islamic scholars explain to you that yes, Allah have a foot, Allah have a hand, including Zakarnaik. So why you are saying that? Yeah, yes, you're a prophet. Salafi, no, the, what's the Salafi? Salafi what's Salafi? What about your prophet? Was your prophet a Salafi, or he was a, a Shia? Uh, no, he he's obviously the prophet. Okay, so did your prophet say that Allah have a foot and he will put his foot in the fire? Yeah, this can mean um, it, this could be a, a metaphorical sense. Where yeah. Do you have Allah a proof that this was metaphorical, or this is your guess too? Again. This no. This is based on the principle of the Quran. What principle? Where that the Quran says Allah have hands. The the usul of the Quran is that there's nothing like unto Allah. So, so what? any symbol. So what? Uh, so any, what? Any okay, nothing like that Allah, but that one that changed. And my friend, according to science, nothing like me too. According to science, hmm? uh, according to science, nothing like me. Nothing like me. According to science, every every flicker of a snow. Nothing like it, which means the snow is not the same as the other flicker of a snow. Does that mean the snow is God? So when you say, and this is a statement you took it from the Old Testament, that nothing like God. But the Quran confirmed that Allah have hands, Allah have a shin, Allah will show his shin, and Allah is, you know, when, when you're a prophet, he said, that you are going to see uh, Allah in the judgment day. Did he say he will see a physical shape or he will see three dimension virtual thing? Um, so, so, so the, the hadith, I think you showed me the hadith before hmm. and he said um, the translation was incorrect. He said the form, it'll come in a form, but that translation is incorrect. Um, when I showed it to a scholar, he said it was, uh, he'll come in an appearance, which is his appearance. So it's part. Uh, it's basically uh, Allah who, who will appear, okay. and uh, they won't recognize him. But is um, it, but he will show his shin. You're the scholar who told you that. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah yeah. He told me that, and then I, I um about the verse. So basically, he said that when Allah uh, will show the shin, uh, and then the reason why people will uh, recognize that Allah is because from the verse in the Quran where Allah tells us that He will 
uh, reveal his shin. So that's how people recognize. So it's not okay. like we already okay, see hold on. So now the shin, Allah, they will see the shin of Allah. Is the shin of Allah as physical or not? Uh, no, it's not. It's not uh, physical. So it's, what it uh, is? How? What do you mean? It's not. Uh, so Allah, uh, the, the whole hadith saying that we will see Allah. Correct? Are we going to see Allah? This is the hadith. Your prophet he compare Allah to a physical being or physical existence material, which is the moon and the sun. Correct? And you say nothing yeah, so like Allah. Given, yeah, you give an example. Okay. Yeah, you All right, no example. problem. I accept that as an example. But that's mean he will see him. And how we will recognize Allah? He will expose his shin. He will uncover his shin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that shin is plastic? Is it uh, real? Is what? Shin. What shin mean? What uh, you want to say to me? Shin now is not. Uh, so your scholar he says it is the appearance of Allah. Are you saying that Allah have an appearance, but his appearance is not real? It's fake. Um, just one I'm, tr I'm trying to look for that explanation that I gave. Hmm. No, but you said to me that you're the scholar. He said to you, the translation is not accurate, and I agree with you. Yeah. Most of Islamic translation is funny, uh, but as long as you're a scholar, he said, this is about the appearance of Allah. Are you saying that your Muslims believe that Allah have appearance, but His appearance is fake? No, it's not fake. Uh, it's just they never recognize. Um, no, they, because they if you recognize. say it's not a shape, because the appearance simply, you know, the appearance Muhammad speak of that we will see him the same as we see the moon. So is that a fake moon? Let us say we're not, we're not saying Allah is the moon now. Don't take me wrong. But I'm saying if somebody says you will see him the same as you see the moon. Okay, talking about who? About about Allah. Okay, that shape, whatever it is, we will see. Is that a real image we will see, or it is? A delusion Allah he made us see something it's not real no when, when we see Allah is gonna be uh, real okay so we uh, will see the be... real Allah so, correct of course it's okay. be... so that image is the image of the real Allah do you agree the uh, yeah the appearance yeah okay so the image of the real Allah is a shin no so so Allah is going to reveal the shin, but what did Allah mean by shin? Um, shin is a shin. Like the, my, my, my friend yeah. Arabic is very clear, Saq, and he will say he will cover his his, his shin. And the, the whole story is saying about what? Seeing Allah. The, some Muslims, they say to you that the word Saq mean war, etc. This is very funny because here talking about seeing Allah, not seeing a war. What war? It's, 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 it, the, the, the word is over. So here they are talking about, are we going to see Allah in the day of resurrection? Muhammad he make it simple for them to the point it's going to be so easy the same you see the moon the same you see the Sun correct and now you confirm to me that the appearance of Allah is the real Allah thank you very much so the appearance of Allah which is the real Allah how we will recognize him by his shin so so the, the scholar says here he says here um, there's two opinions within the ahl sunnah one is to negate the literal meaning and say it's purely a metaphorical meaning mm -hmm. the other opinion is what i mentioned that the literal meaning what is, is the term, metaphorical meaning of shin his glory glory or it could the be glory a, of Allah know, is in his shin since when it, it could no it could be anything uh, it could mean uh, so why he chose the word it, shin you see when you say metaphorical you have to tell me like if he say the hand or of Allah I say okay maybe he meant the power but as we know that power in Arabic have different meaning actually there's a Muslim Sheikh he explained that in the video on YouTube that those who say that the hand of Allah is power they are wrong you open any dictionary I'm just quoting him he said open any dictionary the word hand is a uh, the, the word power is Qudra the word hand is a hand so Allah he said he's have, have a hand what I can say so the Muslim scars all of them agree that Allah have a physical shape I debated all kind of scholars all of them the PhD from Bazar University you can go and watch them all agree that yes Allah have a physical being yes he is dr. Nabil Bayakli Imam Malik Sar dr. Ruhi al Maududi or Dudi Abdul Wadud sorry Sheikh Abdul Wadud all of them they agree that Allah have a physical being so now you want to yeah, come with so different so understanding that will be funny because so, 
because we are talking about you are the one who said to me remember Allah appearance yeah, is real did you say that yeah, his appearance is also uh, okay. the, the, as long appear Allah appearance is real. How many appearance Allah has? Um, council. How what? Um, I can't comment on that. Why not? Is um, is going into the essence of Allah, so something uh, I can't comment on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, as long as long you see, Allah saying He have appearance, but the Hadith says Allah have many appearance, and actually the Muslim translation says it clearly. The word Sora, by the way, Sora is not just an appearance. The word Sora is a physical appearance. Allah have many physical shape. And you Muslims is the one who translated as shape, not me. So Allah, He will come to you in a shape other than the one which you saw first time. So that means Allah have more than one shape, correct? No, it's not shape. I already said that there is no res uh, resemblance with. Isn't Allah it you who said to me? Isn't it you who said to me the appearance of Allah is real? Yeah, so it's gonna appear. Okay. Uh, and that's real okay but this appearance here is not real as you see because Allah if if, if if you are saying Allah have one appearance is what you said to me as understood correct but based on the hadith of your prophet Allah have more than one appearance at least here there's two one Muslims will reject and one the Muslims will accept do you agree um So now we so, have yeah. So the so the yeah. Muslims would, uh, yeah accept uh, they would accept that uh, they won't accept that start uh, they, they, because they won't be they won't be sure or something. Okay, why and why then, why the, so? But that's but this is mean, my friend. That your God Allah is not real because he is a transformer. He have many shape, and he is making the Muslims confused to the point the Muslim themselves did not accept the same Allah just because he changed his shape. No, no, it does, that's not what happens. The, the, the reason why they uh, accepted the second time is because Allah told us in the Quran that this will occur, that's why. Exactly, thank you very much. Guys, look how funny, with my respect to Mr. Qasim, he's a very polite, I have to respect him. Qasim, look what you said. You said you Muslims refuse to accept Allah, the first one who come to you in a shape which you don't like, because it said to you, you will do that but why you refuse him still if the Quran says to you that Allah will say to you we will come to you in a shape which you will refuse why you refuse it anymore I mean you just told me no, that this not, is Allah it's not shape it's uh, appearance I've already said my this. friend so stop it's, saying it's, appearance no problem Allah. no surah surah this is why you're a prophet he says Man surah at the one who make uh, uh, like a, a statues or something Allah will bring him in the day of uh, resurrection and he will ask him to blue in it to make it a creature so stop saying this is just an uh, uh, an, uh, an image it is a physical being this is how Allah sawwara Adam sawwarahu kayfa sawwarahu Allah he made an image of Adam as a shape of a mud correct so this is what surah means so they don't speak Arabic Arabic is my first language and the Muslim who translated here they use the word shape which fit perfectly with the meaning so now Allah come to them in a shape and you just said to me you would not accept Allah for the first shape because you've been taught that you will do that but why you will do that anymore now you know that this is the real Allah don't you think that this is a kufr to say to Allah you are not Allah yet you know and the Prophet he says to you that he is going to come to you in a shape other than the one which you know so he told you that this is Allah then you say, okay, this is Allah, but still we will say to him, you are not Allah. Yeah, I'm just checking the hadith.
until uh, mr. Qasim he uh, check the hadith guys don't forget to give like and subscribe to our channel if you like what we do so mr. Qasim yep okay so now Allah he, the Prophet told you that this is the real Allah and just because he changed his shape now you Muslim you say to him a very insulting word because you say to him we seek refuge from Allah from you which mean you are accusing him to be shaitan so, so he says he, he says he let every nation follow what they used to worship this is not the problem and, uh, now, now, this, we are talking about the Muslims now we are talking about the Muslims it doesn't matter you see you are the Muslims who listen to Muhammad and this hadith is for you Muslims we seek refuge with Allah from you not to seek refuge with Jesus the Christian they will say maybe Jesus right so they said we seek refuge with Allah from you this is the Muslims the Muslims accuse Allah to be shaitan just because he changed his shape in the hadith it doesn't uh, I can't see it where it says uh, I seek refuge it's in the front of you my friend here we go guys isn't it doesn't show doesn't show on the screen it shows that we seek refuge with Allah from you and they will even yeah, refuse to they, they will refuse to talk to him so Allah will be left alone will be ignored and the Muslims will kick him out they will cast maybe stones at him and because they are saying you are shaitan why just because he changed his shape is that maybe this is maybe this is Jesus Jesus come to you in a shape you don't like shape of a man and now you say to him you are not our God just because you have a shape of a man is that possible I'm not sure I have to study a bit, uh, this a bit more further what is the shape Allah here will come and what happened to the second shape now we have Allah have two shape so do Allah create shape of himself or somebody else he create the shape for him no no it's the uh, appearance I think appearance would be suitable okay for this. let us go with your statement just to for the sake of conversation appearance who is the one who create the appearance for Allah Allah or someone else the appearance is part of Allah, so it's basically is Allah. Okay, you just say the appearance is part of Allah, but who is the one who make Allah have many appearance? No one is. Uh, this is Allah. Okay, so Allah have two appearances. Are do we have now two Allah or one Allah? Mm. It, it, no, it, it, let me let me read that. this. So it says the Almighty will come to in, in uh, appearance other than the one which they saw for the first time. And um, you say, I am your Lord, and they'll say, You are now our Lord, and none will speak to him but the prophets. Hmm. Um, and then it will be said to them, Do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? They will say, The shin, and so Allah will then uncover his shin. Hmm. So, what you will do now? Allah will come to you in a shape other than the one which you uh, saw the first time, and he will come in a second shape. And then Allah will come to them in a shape they know. And they will say, what is the shape you Muslims you know? Did Muhammad see Allah? Did you Muslims see Allah? What what this is this story talking about? Isn't it, this is very weird. Yeah, so when, when, when he's talking about Shin, we know that he's talking about the Quran ayat where Allah tells okay. us that he's going to... Thank uh, you very much. So, that, so that the shape you know is the Shin, correct? Um, it's, it's going to be some sort of revealing of the shin so then we would recognize it okay but it is an appearance Allah will appear as a shin right there, there's a there, there's one opinion which says um, the shin uh, is literal but it's uh, we can't uh, imagine it so it's not like the human shin and all this so it's it doesn't beyond matter, our... you see forget about the human yeah. you see the Muslims they come with a uh, uh, like a guessing this is very how funny this religion is because how they knew that he is not coming in a form of a human it may be I mean are you going to tell Allah what to do and as long he is going to take a shape and the shape is rejected that's mean this shape is not suitable for Allah do you agree say that again Allah will come to you in a shape which you Muslims will reject first time is that correct um that's why it seems like from the narration, right. yeah. so that's mean the shape which you will see first time is not as suitable to be a shape of God and this is why you refuse it otherwise why you refuse the shape of Allah what's the problem
That's mean Allah <laughs> he did not come maybe. He did not come as something glorious. Maybe he come as a humble man. Yeah, for some reason they didn't recognize him. Um, okay, so yeah, you Muslims. Probably, okay, yeah. so what yeah, you are I'm saying probably. to me, uh, Qasim? Look how, how look how dangerous what we learn from you. You Muslims follow God because of His shape, not because who He is. Your God, you Muslims, recognize God just because of a shape, not because He is the real God. And that proved to us that Islam is nothing but a cult. Because God no, we is God. We recognize Him because of the verse in the Quran where it tells no, us. My friend, hold on. Doesn't matter. When Allah He changed His shape, that's mean He lost His glory to the point you Muslims could not recognize Him. That's mean Allah, when He changed His shape, he don't appear like God no more to the point you Muslim you say to him we seek refuge with Allah from you which means you Muslim you thought he is nothing but shaitan so he look evil he sound evil he talk evil and you Muslims reject he him huh? uh, okay why why you, why you say why it says here in front of us we seek refuge with Allah from you the Quran says when the shaitan he whisper into you talk to you seek refuge by Allah correct So seek refuge by Allah from the shaitan the regime the Iblis. Uh, what, so now you are seeking refuge with Allah from Allah Accusing Allah to be shaitan Yeah, I said one narration is this uh, Sahih Bukhari 7439 hmm. Yeah, this is Sahih Bukhari 7439 uh, Let me check the hadith number no problem Seven six seven three. There's many hadith like this. It's not the only one All right, so as you see you Muslims rejected Allah just for a very simple reason and You accuse him to be shaitan for a very simple reason too. You don't like his shape and That's mean that Muslims do not know their God They follow shin If they like the shin they approve it if they don't like the shin Maybe Allah come to them in a shin, but the shin they don't like it. Maybe it, it, is, it is hairy. Maybe it's not uh, good looking. Otherwise, what was the problem for you to reject the shin of Allah, which came to you first time, or the shape of Allah, or the appearance of Allah, whatever you want to call it? I'll, I'll study this further and I'll get back to you. No problem. Let us go back to zero. Why Jesus is... Having no father, you said Allah wanted to prove that he is a prophet. But prophet does not, you know, because this is a miracle nobody can prove. I can say right now, my mom, she gave birth to me when she was a virgin. I'm sure you will laugh, right? So if Jesus says to people that my mother, she gave birth to me when I was a child, I'm sorry, without a man, then people will laugh at him. And what the point of this? Then we see that the Quran, the Quran says that Jesus spoke in the Creator, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why Muhammad did not speak in the Creator? Neither Moses, neither Adam, neither, uh, I mean, Adam for sure is made from mud, so he was a man already. Well, neither uh, David, neither anyone. Why only Jesus spoke in the Creator? So Allah gave different uh, miracles to the Prophet. Like, for example, um, uh, why Prophet Allah Isa gave Islam? all the miracles to Jesus? Nobody have miracles like Jesus. Do you agree? No, each each prophet had the uh, um, amazing miracles that they, no. that they did. No, 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 no. You see, Jesus he controlled the nature in the Bible, all right. But in the Quran, in the Quran, we find that Jesus have miracles nobody have. He have no father. He is not from sexuality, and the Quran says, and this is the contradiction for the story of Jesus. What does that mean? Uh, no, Nisab and Wasir. Do you know what does that mean? No. Allah is saying He made every creature after Adam from sexual relationship. Chapter twenty-five, verse fifty-four. Is Jesus you know, one of the mankind, or he is not? Yeah, he's part of the mankind. Okay, um, but uh, but this is mean the Quran is wrong because he says, and it's he who created the man from water. Water here, by the way, is the sperm. You can go and read the interpretation. Sperm. 
I mean, it says water. It doesn't say sperm. No, he, no, it says water. The Quran always speak about sperm as water, my friend. This is why chapter One eighty-six, the... verse number six and seven, it says, "Ma in da fiq, ma da fiq, gashin water." So, my friend, the Quran speak about what here, and this is why it's speaking about marriage and lineage. Do you see it? So, and he created the man. Which man? Every man after Adam, because Adam himself was created not from water. Adam was created from mud. Do you agree? It's, it's created from different uh, substances. No, 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 but not from water alone. We cannot say water. It was uh, water was part of it. No, my friend. Yes, water part of it, but he is not created from water. Correct? If it's part of it, then it was. Okay. Let us go with this. If we go and read the interpretation, do you accept it? The interpretation says sperm, all of them. Not a single interpretation. All of them, and this is why I'm speaking about what? And we made it from marriage. Relationship of marriage. You can try to try, try, change the translation. So here is speaking that every human being is created from the son of Adam, but he is from the water of Adam, the sperm of Adam, by marriage and this is the same verse by the way saying that you can have sex with your daughter if she is not your daughter for marriage you know that right you can you know you can have a relation with your daughter no you can because according to islam a daughter which is not daughter from marriage she is not your daughter do you agree is according no. to Islam, no, uh, Qasim, she, Qasim. According no, she, to Islam, no, 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 no. According to Islam, the, the verse in front of it says, you know, it says Allah only approve relationship by marriage, which mean a daughter out of marriage is not a daughter. You can open any interpretation you want. This is why in Islam, and you can check right now in Google. Prove me wrong if you want that in Islam, if you have a daughter or a son out of marriage. Uh, they cannot inherit your name and they cannot have a child support and they cannot be considered your children for they are sons of adultery but why do they say that all over the fiqh go on open right now all over no, the fiqh. okay let me I'm okay, okay, okay let me show you okay let me show you here we go and i will give you the the, uh, the web, islamic website and the tafsir so you can see yourself okay uh okay you uh, in haram okay let us see the interpretation and let us see what you will say okay <clears throat> I will show you on the screen in a second, please. All right. You see, I'm just trying to find you the reference, so of uh, authentic reference, so you will not say uh, no. we are making things up. All right, let's see here. Okay, we found it. I will put it for you on the screen. So everybody will see what we are talking about. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And this is the Seer al Qurtubi. You can see in the screen. And here it says, 
وهو الذي خلق من الماء بشرا فجعله من النطفة إنسانا alright so he made the human from the sperm as a human being I will translate the page in English using Google translation and then here it says نسبا وصهرا معنى معنيان يعني إما كل قربة تكون بين آدميين the word نسب and صهرا mean relationship kindred between two human and Ibn al Arabi said and nasab wa ibara an khalt al ma'i bayna al dhakar wa al untha ala wajh al shara' the nasab is the kindred is is by mixing the water of the man and the water of the uh, the, uh, the female by sharia which means according to Allah and if it is not according to Allah by unlawful which means illegal sex it is just a pure creation is not a lineage there's no nasab ولم يكن نسبا محققا so it's not a proof to be a yeah. نسب ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله and this is why it's not considered enter under his saying حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم بنتهم من الزنا this is why it says it's not forbidden for you it uh, doesn't go under the verse chapter 4 where it says it's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother and your daughters because his daughter from adultery she is not his daughter according to the most accurate opinion of Islam and religion. And if there is no relationship by marriage, then you can have sex with the mother and sex with her daughter. Now I'm going to transform this page into English using Google Translation. Google Translation is not really good, but what we can do? Better than nothing. We open it in Google browser, we move it here, and we click in the front of your face, in, in your eyes, in the screen, translate to Google, translate to English. And again, this is Google translation is not really too much good. All right? Yeah, even you see here, the word is sperm is coming like water, being from water spring. This is about what actually is a sperm. And then he says, read with me carefully, uh, Creation, he made a human being from the creation of a sperm of a man and made any man, etc., and the, from a rela relationship and marriage, etc. And then he says uh, about the meaning of, uh, you know, relationship. He says the, the relation, the meaning of king, uh, kinship between human, uh, two human beings, which means the male and female. That it is, if it is not illegal, it is just a mixing of water between male and female. And this is what is only according to Sharia. So if it's according to Sharia, that is marriage. And if it is according to Sharia, the daughter will be considered your daughter. So here we go. Read really carefully. This is the stupid Google translation. Therefore, he did not enter in the stupid translation, uh, 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 which means it did not go under Allah saying, it's forbidden for you, your daughter. Forbidden for you, your daughter, because she is a daughter from adultery, because she is not your daughter. You see it? And this is the most the most accurate opinion of Islam. So you can have sex with your daughter and the mother of your daughter because both of them, they are not considered as legal for you to be considered a kinship between you and them, which means your daughter is not your daughter. So I prove to you here in this verse two things. That you can have sex with your daughter, daughter in Islam, according to this verse, if she is a daughter not from marriage, daughter from adultery, and with her mother, which means your girlfriend. In the same time, the Quran confirmed that Allah He made every human being after Adam from a sperm of a man. Okay. What about Jesus? We we'll go back to Jesus now. Is Jesus from the sperm of a man? Um, no. Okay. So Jesus is from the mankind, or he is not? Yeah, he's a human, so he's okay, from the mankind. But this is mean the Quran have an error, because it says وَجَعَلْنَا هُوَ نَسَبًا وَصِيرًا. Everybody after Adam is from the sperm of a man. Jesus is from the sperm of who? You said no man. So who is the father of Jesus? No father, and he is not from the sperm of man. So he is not from the son of any man. Correct? Yeah, we said this is probably an exception to the rule. Okay. So Jesus is an exception for all mankind. 
This is number Adam one exception. Is also, he is Adam, an exception. Adam never had no, 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 no. Your prophet is a son of a man, isn't he? Um, who? Your prophet Muhammad. Everybody is a son of a man, except for sure Adam, yeah. because he's the first man, and that is logical. It's not a miracle there. It says the God He created a man, so there is no That's way. Yeah, I know it's a miracle to create a man, yes, but there's it's not a question if you have a father or not because that would be silly. There's no, uh, you know, there is no women and men have if, sex. If you think about it, was was Adam the son of uh, God then? That was what? Adam had no uh, mother, no father, and uh, but, no, no. You see, my friend, you, you cannot say Adam same, had no father because same, this would be silly. The, How Adam will have a the, father if he is not born of a woman? That will be silly. I'm saying, Adam, I'm no, saying no, the no. Same, no, 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 you see, using, you made the same applied. mistake. No, you made the same mistake as your God. Your God, he says, the the similarity between Jesus or Adam yeah. is the same as Jesus. Both of them, Allah, he said to them, be, and he was. But this is absolutely a contradiction in the Quran because Allah never said to Adam, be, and he was. And Allah never said to Adam, be, and he was. So the Quran is a book of contradiction. If I ask you right now, did Allah say to Adam, be, and he was, or he made mud? Uh, he he grabbed uh, sand. He grabbed water. He mixed them. He made the mud, and then he fashioned the mud. And after he fashioned the mud, he breathed into the mud. Do you agree? Uh, he did all that, but then he also said B. So that's where why he, he said B. Sword. Show me, show me where, where in the holy stories of Muhammad saying that he said B. Actually, the Quran this, says. This, what this, this says it. This where? Says it. Where? No, this verse is saying it. They are similar, but there's no, but the creation of the Quran saying about Adam nowhere says he said be he breathed into him. He did not say the word. He did not even talk. Here we go. If we go and see the Quran, says it clearly how Allah he breathed into Adam. Right. And yeah, after, yeah, I've read already. okay, so Allah He breathed into Adam, but He did not say be, otherwise, why He need to breathe? Why He, he may have said it for be, be for the soul. For, no, 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 soul. if He say be, you yeah, see, the God of the, 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 the only one who created things by be is the God of the Christians and the Jews. He said, be light, light was Allah never created anything by be, and Allah He made Adam from mud in his stages. Correct. Yeah, he, he okay. did that as well. Yeah. So uh, B and he was. That's mean there's no stages. That's it. He said B. It was. That's it. So Allah here in the verse, proven to us that he is not God because he don't remember how, how he created Adam. How Allah? How Allah? He made Mary carry a child. His name is Isa. He breathed right into Mary. Correct. So yeah, he put the soul in. The okay, so okay, he breathed the same he did to Adam, but he did not say be. Nowhere he said be. Read it, and here we have a problem. Allah he breathed into Mary from his spirit. Do Allah have a spirit? Um, that is um, what do you call it? Possession. What possession? It says here, so when I have made him and have uh, breathed into him of my spirit, so that, that's his possession. So when Allah said, my camel. Okay, uh, Allah, it, Allah, he breathed house. into Adam and to, uh, and to Mary. Both of them, he breathed into them. And we can say, actually, in Islam, there is only two human, your God, he breathed into. Adam and Mary, do you agree? Yeah. Okay, now look here what happened with us here. Allah is saying he breathed from his spirit What is the spirit he breathed into what from my spirit? What does that mean? You said position. What does that mean? Spirit is a spirit position. Isn't it you who said to me spirit is a physical? Isn't it you who said to me spirit is a physical being? It's physical. Yeah, okay, so Allah he, he breathed into Adam something physical yeah, of course, the soul is physical, isn't it? What? The soul is physical? Of course. So he would yeah, put yeah. inside him. So now if we open the chest of somebody, we will find physical meat. It's called a spirit. 
What do you mean? It's physical. It's not. It's not uh, visually. You can't see visually. See. So how it's how it's physical, but we cannot grab it. We cannot hold it. It does not hold the space. Uh, the, the doctors they check all part of a human being, and they did not find anything. Is called spirit as physical. This is weird. So when you say Allah, He sent Jibril, and you call him a spirit, Holy Spirit, and then we find that the spirit is inserted into Mary, inserted into Adam, and then you Muslims fail to tell us what is inserted because you are so confused about what the spirit is to the point you think that the spirit is something physical. So a uh, meaning of physical is related to the body as opposed to the mind, and then second meaning is related to things perceived through the senses uh, as opposed to the mind, uh, tangible or concrete. That's not the point, my friend. Here, the spirit, did the spirit give life? Is the, is the spirit what gave life? The spirit what? Said they give life? Is the spirit which gave life to Adam? Yeah. Okay, so before the spirit is inserted into Adam, Adam was just a mud. He's not a human being, correct? Yeah, he was lifeless. Thank you. So, no, he was just a mud. Not only lifeless, he is not even with the skin yet. He's just a statue, correct? Uh, what, what I heard was he was just like, yeah, he was kind of like a statue kind of thing. No, statues um, from mud, specifically from mud. That's what the Quran is saying. So, he made him from mud. The verse says that in the front of you. Okay, so he's just a mud now. And you know, if I ask you, did Allah, did Adam complain to Allah and say to him, "Finish me before the sunset"? Uh, Finish me before the sunset. Yeah. No, I haven't read that. Okay. The, the Quran says, "Wa kana al insan wa ajula." Have you ever heard this verse before? Chapter yeah. seventeen, verse uh, number okay. Man is hasty. Okay. What what is what is the interpretation for this verse? Do you have an idea? Um, I think he's um, no, I can't remember. Hmm. Well, here, if we go, let us show you from Ibn Kathir. If you like Ibn Kathir, if you don't like it, we can go to different interpretation. You will see that the Muslims agree, and this is a hadith, though, that uh, Adam, when Allah was creating him. He said to Allah, Oh Allah, finish me before the sun said this is what this means. He was ever hasty. So Adam he was worried that Allah will not finish him before the sun said. And this is a proof to us that the Quran is not the book of God. Because you agree that Allah says be and he was. But as you see, there's no be and he was. There is a process, and the process is so slow. So if we go to chapter 17. Uh, verse number 11, we will find the following in Ibn Kathir. I will put it in the screen. And everybody will see with me the interpretation of you Muslims about this verse. Proving to us again that the Quran cannot be, cannot stand the question, and it's a fake book. So look what happened. Allah is creating Adam, and Adam now in the process of a creation. So Allah, he breathed into Adam. And this is Ibn Kathir. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the screen? I hope um, so. Yeah. Okay. It says, And the man was ever hasty. So the man al Farisi and Ibn Abbas said, etc. The story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet. When his soul was Boy. breathed into him, it entered into his body from his head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed. And he said, Alhamdulillah, here we go, Adam, he speak Arabic before the Arabic exist. A praise be to Allah. And Allah said to him, may your Lord have mercy on you, which is very funny, right? because when you say may your Lord, because Allah is the one who's talking, what do you mean may your Lord? Aren't you the Lord? Oh, Adam. And then when it reached his eyes, he opened them like boing. And then when it reached his body and limbs, he started to star stare at them in wonder. He wanted to get up before it reached his feet but he could not, so he said, Oh Lord, make it happen before the nights come. So Quran is a false book because Allah did not say to Adam, Be and he was. 
to the point Adam was worried that the sunset is coming and Allah is so slow. Is is a process or? Yeah, I know. I, yes, that's what I'm saying. There's a process. I agree. There's a process. So the Quran saying I said be and he was. That's not true. Nowhere he said be and nowhere he was. You know, as you see, he made mud. He breathed into him, and it took a lot of time. And actually, even your prophet he says Allah created Adam in a Friday afternoon. Correct. Say that again. Allah he created Adam in a Friday afternoon. Is that correct five days uh, five days after me no no in a Friday afternoon Friday afternoon is that correct or oh, fr Friday after me afternoon uh, not after me Friday afternoon or a Friday afternoon um, read with me this is your prophet and this is Sahih this is not a, 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 a daif as Muslim they you know play games sometime uh, Allah the exalted the glorious created the clay in Saturday and he created the mountains on Sunday and he created the trees on Monday and he created things entirely in labor in Tuesday and he created the light in Wednesday and then he caused animal to spread and in th th and Thursday and created Adam after Asr Friday Do you see it yeah okay so Allah is being so slow to the point Adam was afraid from the sunset and Allah will not be able to finish him today right that's what your prophet is saying so here there's many questions about this funny story proven to us again Muhammad to be a false prophet because how Adam know there is a sunset anyway this guy is just in the process of a creation you don't know about sunset what sunset how you, you, can, you can stay in Huh? Yeah, I can still know. How you can, can still know? know. You, if I never saw, if I never saw a sunset, I never saw anything yet. I'm just in the post. I'm just like a toy in the hand of God, and now I know there is a sunset. How I know that? There's no sunset yet. I never went yeah, to sunset. Yeah, he uh, Allah must have granted him uh, knowledge. So Allah, He gave him knowledge. Didn't Allah give him knowledge that don't worry, you be happy. I will create you before sunset. So He told him about the sunset, but He told him that I will create you. Don't worry. And by the way, do you agree with the story here, this hadith, which is Sahih? Hmm? Do you agree with this story? Uh, I agree that he was created on a Friday. Okay. Why on Friday? Well, what did you say? Why on Friday? I'm not sure it's on a Friday. Well, look with me. How many days now we have in this hadith? This is one week creation. Muhammad again proved to us that he's a false prophet because this hadith is saying that Allah created all and everything from Saturday to Friday. That is seven days, correct? Yeah. Okay, but the Quran says Allah created everything in six days. Uh, what did it say? Again? Allah created everything in six days. He created the world in uh... everything, because in the day number seven, Allah He left Himself up to the throne. Correct? Allah He left Himself up to the throne in the seventh day. In the seventh day, He did not do anything, and the Quran confirmed. All over that it is six days. Your prophet, as all false prophets, false men, they cannot repeat, remember what they said before. All right? And this is repeated repeat many verses, I mean, all over the Quran. So Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days, and then He left Himself to the throne. Okay? So why he's saying that Allah created Adam in the day number seven? In the day number seven, Allah was in heaven. And supposedly the creation is done.
that's a that's a bad mistake of your prophet so he proved to us again you know your prophet is just talking he did not count the words he did not count the days here we go Saturday created the mountains by the way Allah the first thing he created is the mountains sorry I created the first thing the, the clay and then sun, uh, sun, uh, 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 Sunday he created the mountains do you agree with your prophet um after I have I haven't studied this actually. No, no, okay. Either you say I agree with Muhammad. We're talking about Muhammad. I thought you will submit to Muhammad right away. He says I agree. Do you agree with Muhammad or you don't agree? Is this a Sahih, a sahih narration? Yeah, sure, this is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. We can show you Sahih Bukhari. We can show you many sources. This is Sahih. If Sahih Muslim is not Sahih, what is Sahih then? This is Sahih Muslim. Here we go. Hadith number two seven eight nine. Yeah, if, if he says, uh, yeah, if he says, okay, he's created, uh, okay, guys, he agree with it. Did you hear, uh, uh, Mr. Qasim? I like talking to this gentleman. He is a polite. He's a nice man. So, Mr. Qasim, he said he agree with his prophet, but this is totally proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Why? Because the Quran says that Allah, He built the sky first. And then, after he finished all the skies and the star uh, he created the mountains let us see what the Quran is saying read with me please what is the first thing Allah created in this chapter Mr. Qasim Uh, what's the first thing you created hmm. in this chapter chapter 79 are you harder to create or the heaven that he built he raised it high there are there and they're off and order it and he made dark and night so it, he made now the stars dark and night and after that he spread the earth and after that he made the substance and the water and etc and the grass and after that he made the mountains but the hadith saying that Allah he first he made the clay second he made the mountains and at the end after he finished the sky look when the sky what they what what day Allah created the star or the Sun the light he created the light on Wednesday and by the way he did that because he's a fool he was making fun of the Christian saying oh you say that the Bible says God created the Sun in Wednesday so the whole earth was without life, without light? No, in the Bible it says, God said, let be light, and light was. So light created before even the sun is exist. But as you see, the Muslim, they make fun of our Bible, but their prophet was trying to copy, but he had some fabrication. And now you Muslims is the one who believe that the sun created in Wednesday, and actually the light created in Wednesday, which means before that there was no light at all. But look what happened. When your prophet admitted that he is saying, that mountains created right after the clay and then in Monday he created the trees and then after that he created all things in this earth and then in Wednesday he created the stars and then that's mean the light was the stars was at the end before Adam for sure Adam is the last thing but this is totally contradiction for this verse in the Quran where it says the opposite and by the way the Quran itself contradicts the Quran because the Quran says in different verse chapter 49 that Allah he created the earth first and then after that he created the sky so it is 180 degree different direction So I'm, I'm gonna go now, but I will study this. Uh, what you mentioned, uh, I'll get back to you. I'll ask no you problem, scholars. my friend. Thank you for calling me and feel free to call and let your scholars call me. I don't know why they don't call me. Why you don't ask the scholar who is trying to be your teacher and trying to, you know, because I, I don't think you're, the scholars are scholars who they are talking to you, they are trying to just to shut you up. They don't want you to know the truth. What about you? Make him call me and you sit, watch, see what your scholar can do, and you'll be the judge. If your scholar can talk to me, that would be wonderful.
why you know why he don't come and say hey I'm going to show you that this guy Christian Prince he have no idea what he's talking about not only that I'm going to show you that he's a liar what do you think I can ask yeah I can ask him if that he, would be wonderful my friend it. promise me you will ask him and not only that carry my message for him that Christian Prince challenge you respectfully and I will treat him with respect if he call me the same as I speak to you if he dare to call me and talk about what we spoke about today or anything no problem Islam is will false. you will you set like a time uh, two minutes two minutes each or something like that? no problem I will give you twice more time than me I will make you join us in the conversation and you will be the guy who do the timing if you want but I like I like normal natural conversation like now I mean do we have a do we have a bad conversation now no right I give you time to talk they give me time to talk there's no need for timing like did I stop you says shut up don't go you know no, we're talking I will speak to him with respect he can speak as much he wish he can interrupt me too like because I said something he wanna get me busted with maybe so why not right yeah I'll, I'll, yeah I'll ask I'll, um, I'll, um, I'll approach the Mufti and, uh, and uh, ask all right. him all right call the Mufti I will be happy to have him do you what is the name of your Mufti uh, Mufti Zaid. Mufti Zaid. Is he shake? Is he big shake or just uh, somebody grow a beard? Yeah, he studied in um, South Africa. Hmm. Okay. Tell Mif Mufti Zaid, carry my message to him. He is more than welcome to call me and to prove to us we have a, we have a, almost 1,400 people watching in life. Say to him, Christian Prince, respectfully, challenging you to prove Islam to be true. And uh, he will be my guest and he can prove it in any way he want any mean he, he can all right oh uh, yeah I'll, I'll ask him okay thank you Hassan, for for being with us thank you very much take care okay. all right so as you see my friends muslims are the last one to know what islam is about and this religion is nothing but a, co a collection of confusing stories muhammad he cannot be a prophet he don't even remember what he said yesterday one verse he says the earth was created before the uh, the sky the other verse saying the, 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 the opposite. One verse saying that the mountains are created first after the clay and the water was after. And the other verse saying totally the opposite that the sun was created first, the stars, etc. And then after that, Allah, he start working in the ground. So how Allah can be God? He cannot. Have you ever heard of a God? He don't remember which one he finished first. Uh, we have a Muslim, I think, calling. Let us see. Hello? Hello? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, you can hear me? Yes, I do. Go ahead. You are live on air. So one sec. Yes, yeah, so can you see me or can you just hear me? I don't want to see you, my friend. Don't turn the camera on. <laughs> no, no, I'm just I'm making sure. One sec. Hmm. Okay, are we going to talk or? Yeah, sorry, just give me one sec, sorry. Because it's actually my first time downloading Skype, so. Okay, but I hear you, you can talk. What do you want to say to us? <coughs> yeah, so um, what was the other guy uh, that you were just talking to? Well, what's his name again? Qasim. He's a Muslim. Are you Qasim. a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? <laughs> yeah, so I remember you, you were saying something to him about um, the Quran talk from the Bible about Allah created the world in six days. Yeah. Is that what you said? Not me. The Quran says yeah, so the Quran says Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days, correct? Yeah, and you mentioned something about the sun. Could you just reiterate what you said about the sun? You uh, in the Bible it says that God supposedly the Muslim says uh, they accuse the Bible of saying something not right, scientifically wrong according to them, that God created the sun in Wednesday. Are you there? No, he's calling me again. I don't know. Look like he lost connection. Are you there? Yeah, sorry about that. I think I uh, coughed by accident. Sorry no about problem. That. So, so uh, yeah, sir, what you I was saying that uh, you Muslim says how the Bible says that God created the sun in Wednesday, and you believe that this is a mistake. Is it? 
Well, I cannot continue with you uh, as long with this uh, internet. Get a better internet, please. Otherwise, we cannot really keep talking this way. Do we have any Muslim have a good internet? No, no, my friend, don't call me. I cannot we just keep talking this way and, you know, you have no good internet. Get a good internet and then feel free to call me. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? So look what will happen. Muslims is calling again. Uh, my friend, if your internet is not good... Yeah, you not... keep disconnecting, or... Well, your internet is bad. I don't know what to do. Okay, so now do you... So I don't know. Okay, do you agree with the Muslim hey, saying that creating the sun in Wednesday is wrong? But, sir, I keep being disconnected from the call. All right. Do you agree that the sun created in Wednesday is wrong? So I will repeat your question, please. Okay, my friend. Take care. Don't call me again. After all this repeating, say to me, repeat the question again. This is how silly this cult. Muhammad don't remember what he said yesterday. This is what happened to false leaders. They say something, they cannot remember it. Second day, they say something the opposite. They do not know why Christ is a Christ. They do not know why Christ have all those miracles. If the purpose of Jesus having all the miracles which is mentioned in the Quran is to make him a prophet, obviously Allah was not smart. Because as you see, the Christian did not believe in Jesus because of his miracles as a prophet. But his miracles made him to be believed that he is God on earth. How God he create things. He made mud. He breathed into it and he is a living creature, whatever the creature is. But this is exactly what Jesus did. He breathed from his breath, from his breath. And the mud became a living creature from the breath of Jesus. And I breathe into it. The Muslim they will say doesn't say there by the leave of Allah. It doesn't matter by the leave of Allah or not. You just admit it that Allah by his leave, he agreed to the term and conditions to have Jesus as a creator. And how Jesus from his breath can give life if he is just a man. That means that the breath of Jesus is the source of life. You see, it's not Jesus who fashioned and then Allah he breathed into it. It is Jesus who fashioned the likeness of a bird from a clay. And it is him who breathed. And he said, and I breathe into it. And it is bird. So why Jesus need all those miracles? Why Allah, he gave Jesus a miracle to be creator. That make me believe that Jesus is the creator. As simple as that. That means Allah have a failure in the purpose of those miracles because don't Allah knew that this is will cause me to believe that Jesus must be creator because he is. That's what it says. Oh, what you are saying to me by the leave of Allah, and by the way, there is no proof of it. I can say now that Jesus, he created the bird from the mud by my leave. I can say that too. People will laugh at me. The Quran saying, that Muhammad he was not able to have one miracle from his God and what is the excuse? People of former generation did not believe in them which is a lie because as you see we believe in the miracle of Jesus we believe that he is a son of a virgin we believe that he healed people we believe that he resurrected people from death so what do you mean? but because Allah is a fake name Muhammad he used to get authority he come with this verse that nothing prevented us and you can change the translation if you don't like it nothing prevented us from giving you a miracle Muhammad except that people don't believe in them but that's false the Jews believe the Christian believe what do you mean and if people will not believe this is an excuse 
to not to give miracles. So why you give all miracles to all the prophets? Because it's still there's people don't believe until now. So this was a false excuse. And the, by, by the way, the Muslim they say to us that the Quran is a, is a miracle, correct? When the Muslims they say the Quran is a miracle. How many of you heard Muslims saying the Quran is a miracle? How the Quran is a miracle, and Allah is saying we refrain from sending miracles. The signs here, by the way, is a miracle. Bil ayat. Nothing made us refrain from sending miracles except that people they did not accept them, they treat them as false. And he mentioned a very funny miracle, the she camel, which is very funny. What she camel? A rock, he gave, she gave birth to a camel. <laughs> so here you see. That when the Muslim they say the Quran itself is a miracle, that is a contradiction. The same verse proving to us that Quran is a lie. Because if the Quran is a miracle, how you say we refrain from sending miracle? If the Quran itself is a miracle, it's like saying to you, "Why I am making barbecue? I refrain from doing barbecue." And my camera open, and you see me doing barbecue. But you say, "But Christian, you're doing barbecue right now." I say, yeah, I refrain. I just told you, I refrain from doing barbecue. But you are doing barbecue right now. If the Quran itself is a sign and it is a miracle, by saying those words, you just made a miracle. So what do you mean, I refrain from sending miracles? So look what we have. The Muslim they say Jesus was given miracle by God. What else? Oh, Jesus, the, the Jews could not kill him. Uh -huh. So look at this Jesus, the Muslim Jesus. He speak in the cradle. He have no father. He can tell you what you hide in your houses. He can read your mind. He can see the future. He knew the unseen. And he is holy, as in chapter 19, verse 19. And not only that, he can create from the mud the bird. He can heal any disease. He can heal any illness. He can resurrect people from death. In the top of that, nobody can kill him. Why? Once a Muslim, a smart Muslim, he says to me, well, if Jesus is the son of God, then his father will not let him die in the cross. He getting humiliated. I said, thank you very much. You just approved to me that Jesus is the son of God in Islam. He said, how? I said, you just said, if he is his, the son of his father and his father is God, that's mean he will save him, right? He said, yeah. He said, well, isn't it him who was saved in Islam? That's mean his father saved him. So look here again, another stupidity in the Quran. Allah, he made someone look like Jesus in the cross. So the one who created the Christianity is Allah. If this is true, Allah, he made us believe Jesus was in the cross, but he was not in the cross. Allah, he made us believe that Jesus is the creator, but Allah gave him the creation ability. Allah made, her, made, made us see that Jesus, he can read the unseen, read our mind. He can heal any, any disease. But all of this to make us believe he's a prophet? So he have no beginning because he's not the son of any man. He was the word of God before he was sent down to Mary. That's what the Quran says. وَكَلِمَتَهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَى مَرْيَمْ كَلِمَتَهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَى مَرْيَمْ He is his word which he sent down to Mary. So what Jesus was before he became a man? He was a word of God. So where he was? He was in heaven. He is the word of God which sent down to mankind. What the Bible says in chapter and book of John, verse number one, in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And then in verse number 14, it says, and the word became a flesh. The Quran confirmed that, that the word of God became a flesh and his name is the Messiah. And then it says, and this word was bestowed on Mary and the spirit proceeding from him. From who? From God. So the Messiah is a spirit proceeding from him, from God. 
Is Muhammad a spirit proceeding from God? No. Nobody is a proceeding from God. So Jesus the word, Jesus the spirit of God, and Jesus is the messenger of God, which means the man, three in one. This is what the Quran is saying. The funny, the same verse saying, Sony Trinity. And by the way, this is the Islamic Trinity proving to be wrong. Because if Trinity is wrong, and one cannot be three, and three cannot be one, according to Islamic understanding, not our understanding, because we believe that God is in three person. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. One God, three person. Islam teaching us, say no Trinity, in the way Islam understand the Trinity. So a Trinity, according to Islam, is you cannot be one and three in the same time. But you just approved to me that Jesus is one and the three in the same time. He is just a man. He's a messenger. He's born of Mary. And he is the word of God. And he is a spirit proceeding from God. Three in one. This is how silly the cult of Islam. All right. So when when a Muslim he speak to us about something, we find it very funny how they try to present their God and how to explain to us the Messiah. No Muslim can explain the Messiah. And not only that, Muhammad he continued with his story and he claimed that the Messiah is the one who will come in the judgment day as a hakam and muqsitan. What does that mean? Jesus will come as the absolute just justice and judge. Jesus will be the judge at the end of time. Okay, all of those things given to Jesus. So what Muhammad given given? Muhammad given women. While Jesus is busy judging mankind, as you see, a just judge. No man can be just, my friend. No man can be just. Only God can be just. The Muslim, the Muhammadan, Muhammad himself confirmed that the Messiah is just and he is the judge. You see, to be judge and just, that's mean you know everything and nobody can hide anything from you. Do we agree? In order to know, and not only that, actually, it's beyond just knowing because you have to come to the right decision, which is perfectly balanced. The penalty fit with the point with, with the with the crime. So to be a just judge, you have to have the aspect of God. You have to know the unseen. Nobody can lie to you because it doesn't matter what you say. I know what happened. In the same time, I can judge perfect judgment. You just confirm that Jesus is God. So they do not know who is God. They do not know who is Jesus. They do not they cannot explain even the names what they mean. Every Muslim give you different definition for what the Messiah mean, what Isa mean. They don't know. This is a very pure cult, and we explain it and we prove it to be false every day. We have only seven hundred seventy-four like, and we have the Muslims give us twenty-three dislike. Look like people don't like what we do. I hope you people you subscribe and don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish today and we will continue maybe tomorrow and any Muslim who claim to be a sheikh a scholar feel free to call us and you will see you are no match not because you are debating Christian Prince but because if the Lord is with me who could be against me my Lord is the living Messiah, which you Muslims agree he is living right now in heaven while your prophet is in the grave. Your prophet, he lied to you and he said that the graves do not consume the body of a prophet. And then Muhammad, he die and his belly grow. And his skin became a greener and his nails became a green and his fingers shrunk. And then he stink, as the hadith says. So Ibn Abbas said, 
Bury your friend, he stinks the same as all a human stink. He lied to you. He says the earth will not consume the body of prophets. What do you want more proofs? Every single page in the Islamic books proving to us Muhammad to be a false prophet. And every story in Islamic books prove to us that Jesus the Messiah is none like him. Remember, don't the Muslims they say none like God? None like God. Well, none like Jesus. None like Jesus. Right? Somebody saying why the Holy Spirit is ignorant about the judgment day. That's because if you're ignorant, because if you read the same chapter, you will see Jesus says that when this and this and this and this and this and this and this happen, this will happen. The judgment will happen, which means Jesus saying to you that judgment day is based in your sin, in your act. As an example, when the story in Sodom and Gomorrah happened, if there is only 10 righteous left in the city, God will not destroy the city. So what makes the city destroyed fast or slow is what the people do. Correct? So we do not believe in a predestiny judgment day and day set. The more we corrupt our world, the more we do crimes, the more we became filthy, the more and the faster we will bring the wrath of God on us. So nobody knows that day because it's you who decided, which means it's our crimes, it's our sin will bring judgment day upon us. Judgment day happen because of sin, remember that, not because we are doing good. If we are not doing sin, there's no judgment day. So because of your silly understanding, because you do not want to read the same page, which explain to you the same page, you decide to take a title post by somebody says, explain to me. Nobody is ignorant except you, my friend. This is your this is your statement. The only one is ignorant is you. All right. Anyway, guys, I think we have uh, enough for today. Don't forget, please, to download the video. My video don't stay there for long, and don't forget to give us a like if you like it, and uh, feel free to download and post it in your website if you have uh, any uh, page in your YouTube or Facebook. It doesn't matter. You can cut the video pieces. Uh, you know, like Muslims calling me, whatever you want. Just please refer to our channel and refer to the origin of the videos. I want to say thank you very much for being here. And this is why we are a Christians and we are Arab in the same time. We refuse Islam because Islam is false. And we prove it every day. Uh, 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 hold on, let me show you this before we go. Let me show you this. Uh, PK, are you a Muslim? PK1, are you a Muslim? But why did the Father know the Holy Spirit was ignorant? Well, he, can you show me where it says that the Holy Spirit is ignorant? The ignorant is you. The Holy Spirit is within the Messiah. Look what the, even the Quran says. وَأَيَّدْنَاهُ بِالْرُوحِ القدس. So the Spirit of God, which is within the Messiah, according to the Quran, is a Ruhul Qudus. So when the Messiah says, no one but the Father, simply, he is not saying that the Holy Spirit is ignorant, for the Holy Spirit is within him. And he said, when this and this and this and this happened, the judgment day will happen. So Jesus the Messiah, he proved to you that he is not ignorant, neither the Holy Spirit, neither the Father. Always, if you answer the Muslims from the Bible, they will, they will play games. Look what the Quran says. This is the Messiah. He was accompanied by the Holy Spirit, which means the Messiah and the Holy Spirit always, they are together. This is your book, not my book. So according to the Quran, when the Messiah, he speak, the Holy Spirit, 
speak. Do you see it? And when the Messiah, he says, I can tell you the future, the Quran confirmed that, that means he knew the unseen. And when the Muslim, they say that the Messiah will be the judge in the judgment day, that means exactly he knew when he's coming back, for he is going to be the one who will do the job. And the verses in the Bible say clearly that the Messiah knew what will bring the judgment day. Because we don't believe in the preset dating for the judgment day, which means God will bring judgment on you based on your sin. But a silly person like you who try to find silly excuse to say, oh, Jesus is ignorant. The Holy Spirit is. And by the way, you know, you need to ask God for forgiveness. I don't know if he will forgive you or not. But maybe because you are a Muslim, you will be forgiven because you are insulting the Holy Spirit. No, I did not say that. You see, that when Jesus says, not every, not even the Son, when we say what Jesus said about the Son, the Son of a man, so not even the Son knows the hour, but then you, you ignore the rest of the chapters. Why? Because I explained to you, the hour will happen based on our sin. It is you who know is going to be. It's you who decide what will happen. Bring wrath of God on you. Commit more sin. Corrupt your, your earth. And then sin and judgment day will take you down. You know, when somebody, he tried to understand the verse from the Bible, he, can't, he take a verse and he forget the rest of the chapter. The holy chapter saying that Jesus, he knew. And you know what? Do you like to call me life right now? PK? Do you have the courage to call me life? And I will make you read the chapter and everybody will laugh at you? Do you care? Do you dare to call me right now? Yes, only the father know, but he said I am and the father is one <laughs> The son of man the son of man you see when when Jesus speak about himself uh, He said my father is a greater than me my father is a greater than me because God he humbled himself and he come to us as a man in this earth So when Jesus says my father is greater than me He just told you that the Messiah is obedient to the Father. So when we as a Christian, we speak about God, the Son, God, the Father, that will not change the fact that even Jesus says, I and the Father is one, and the one who saw me, he saw the Father. Jesus the Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. This is what the Bible says. So look what you do. You take one statement and you say, I'm going to forget about everything Jesus said so I can understand that statement. That because you are a hypocrite. This is what hypocrite people do. It's like, you know, I, I say I am a teacher, and then you ask me to teach you uh, uh, karate. But I did not say I am a karate teacher. No, no, you said you are a teacher. Could you teach me karate? Uh, th this is the only sentence hooked up in his head. No, my friend, I teach people how to spank silly people like you. This is what teacher mean, and I prove it every day. But because you have an agenda, yeah, you can do your best. And you cannot ignore that even your Quran saying that the Messiah is the judge, the Messiah is the pure, the Messiah is the holy, the Messiah is alive, the Messiah of the son of no man, the Messiah is the perfect person, the Messiah is the one who nobody can deceive, and the Messiah is the one who will conquer all evil. As simple as that. Anyway, guys, we have enough for today. We will try to be on air again tomorrow. And uh, again, don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. Uh, uh Khan, I give you a chance more than one time to call me and each time you call me you say what is the question so who is the coward guys isn't it, this is the guy who called me many times and each time he called I said the question he says what is the question obviously you are a kid trying to play games what is the question sorry what is the question I have a bad connection you call me I think five times and I took your call five times 
and I answered you and yet you're still saying to me what is the question I think you are Muhammad himself who ignored the question by saying what was the question let your father call me my friend otherwise you are like Abbas who is always a driving and by the way Abbas yesterday before we forget uh, two days ago Abbas he said he is not sure if the angels are a spirit or not only Jibreel he is a spirit I mean have you ever heard of a mad cult like this the followers they are confused to the point they think that there is one angel is a spirit the rest are not that is Abbas Ibn Farnas he is not sure and he think that only Jibreel is a spirit the rest of the angels are not how stupid that is that's mean the Muslims they have no idea what angels mean and that's mean there's angels have different nature and if we ask him okay what is the angel from he do not know and how you know that Jibreel is a spirit nowhere it says that nowhere in the Quran says that Jibreel is a spirit this is how confused this cult you see those people even do not know if their God is a spirit or not always I ask Muslims is Allah is a spirit they say yes which is absolutely false the second you say Allah is a spirit is the same second you admitted that Allah is not God for Islam and the spirit are in two different category the God of Islam himself do not know what is a spirit when they ask Muhammad what is a spirit Allah he said to them oh tell them Muhammad only Allah knows what the spirit so he is not a spirit Allah is a physical being so what he is name for us one of the Christian scholars who give interpretation for the verse you gave me so why you're asking me if you want me to give you an, a scholar I thought you're asking me right secondly name one of the scholars who says you see I, I will answer you from your stupidity name for me one scholar says that the Holy Spirit is ignorant or even Jesus you see how silly you are okay I will give you the same question name for me one scholar he says that Jesus and the Holy Spirit is ignorant I mean this is how silly you are you think you are smart as long as you accept the scholars explaining that verse why you don't accept what the scholar says about that verse that because you are a hypocrite and now because I get you busted you says okay name for me a scholar he says that so now if I show you a scholar are you going to accept you will say no because the scholars will get you busted hypocrite and a kid anyway guys thank you for being here until I see you maybe tomorrow if I can or if I, if I could until then may the Lord bless you if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam feel free to read my books you can find them in Amazon uh, you know we have them in Spanish in German in Swedish uh, in French uh, in many languages you can search in Amazon of your country and you can read my books and if you cannot afford books my friend I have thousands and thousands of videos all of them are for free all of them are for free feel free to read them enjoy watch and love you all Christ is Lord Islam is false and we see you soon again thank you very much Take care.